Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Tian here, and today I just want to show you guys how to create a watermark in Photoshop and how to apply that watermark on your videos in Final Cut Pro X, Final Cut Pro 10, whatever you want to call it. So let's go ahead and get started. It's actually really simple and will be done in just a few minutes. So I already have mine pre made, my uh, watermark, but I'm going to show you how I made mine. So open up Photoshop. Click File, New, okay? Once you're there, you want to make sure Background Contents, this this is the key, um, the key function when opening a new document for a watermark. So you want to make sure Background co Contents is transparent, and you can set the size to whatever you want, um, because remember, it's just going to stay in the corner of your video. Now, obviously, the bigger the actual picture, the crisper it's going to come up, but uh, for this video, I just used 250 by 250, and that's what I actually use in my watermark. So you can see it's actually transparent now, and then you can do whatever you want. So um, for your for your logo, I guess you could just type in your name there. You can make a picture. So I'm using um, I'm using a brush from QBrushes.com or .net. I'll have a link down below. So I'm just gonna use that. I'm gonna make the little ink splatter um, black. So you can see it's right there, but it is not fully black. It's like sort of transparent, so it's going to work really well with your YouTube videos. So then, I'm just going to create. Now, once we have my splatter, again, yours is going to vary, obviously. Um, but I wanted the splatter and then just my initials inside it. And then we go to File. Once you've done, once you're done uh, creating your picture in Photoshop, your watermark, um, just go to File, Save for Web and Devices, and just click Save from there. And you'll have it saved. So I'm going to exit out of this because I already have mine made. Now we're going to go to Final Cut Pro 10. So here it is. I have a new project. Let's just create one. New project. Um, I want to call it Watermark Test. Hit enter. Okay, so here it is. Now, first of all, you want to import. If you have an intro, obviously import that. I'm just going to import my watermark directly. So, a look. Uh, pictures, Photoshop materials, watermark.png. And uh, I'm going to grab some footage from earlier. So here's the little flower thing I had going. Actually, no, I don't want this one. Um, I had a video test um, of iMovie it's, and its effects a while ago. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out now. But so we have our video clip imported in. Um, this is just raw footage, nothing edited. I just imported it in front of you guys. So once you've imported what you want, uh, the video, and you have the watermark as well, you're just going to lay it on top. Mm, that sounds like fun. But lay it on top. There we go. And then hit spacebar and you'll see it's playing. But it's in the center, it's huge, and it's just in the way. So what we want to do now is just stop it here. You want to click this. So this allows you to resize it and uh, just move it around. So I'm just going to make mine this size, right? Oops. Okay. So I'm going to make mine this size and I'm just going to drag it over here like so. That looks okay. And I'm going to make sure it fills the entire timeline uh, with the video. So that's pretty much it. So you can see it's off in the corner, um, it's transparent, so you can still see through it at your original video. And let's just try it out. It's small, it's out of the way, and it's good quality. And people know that this video is about you and it's not stolen by someone else. So watermarks are great ways to brand your own content so nobody can use it in their videos. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. As always, be sure to subscribe, like, favorite, comment, and I'll see you guys later. Um, and check out my latest videos. See ya.